another lesson on PLC, uh, PLC programming. Today I'm going to teach you how to simulate a garage door. Right, the first thing you do, you go to your software, you open that. <coughs> what you'll have is this page. It's still loading. Once it's loaded, you'll go to simulations, click on that and go to door simulator click on that one so you have the graphics for the door simulation and you can drag this part of the uh, screen to the right so you can see the whole uh, graphic of the garage door and you'll start programming uh, you have to read your instructions from your exercise and understand what the program is required, what, what program is required or what programming uh, you have to do to make this garage door function as it's required. And open the garage door, press close and close it. And stop and stop at any time and when it's fully open the open indicator should come on when it's fully closed the shut indicator should come on and when it's in between open and close the ajar indicator should come on and under no circumstances you should be able to uh, run both motor, motor windings um, <coughs> So under no circumstances will both motor windings be energized at the same time. And and RAM. And the way you do it, you press this slow show PLC control panel. Uh, here when you're programming, you put this on program mode. When you're running it, you put it on run mode. And you have to download before you run it. Uh, this one is the scan speed, the speed of the scanning of the program. So you can see if you bring it down right down to minimum, you can see uh, once it's run, you can see how it's run, how the contacts are operating and the coils are coming in and out of the uh, circuit. And then if there is a fault, you can find uh, the fault easier. And also you can go online or offline from here. You can download to PLC, you can uh, you know, go offline and online that way. But this is a simulator, so it's not actually connected to a, an outside PLC. It's all inside the software. Right, to program the, the motor first, some people, everybody does it dif different way. Uh, some people start from the beginning and put the start button and stop button and then uh, if there is emergency buttons usually you have in programs emergency button in this case you don't have one and emergency buttons physically are closed contacts normally closed contacts and you have to make sure you program that in your program the right way well we've discussed that or we, we will discuss that uh, in other lessons at the moment we want to program this uh, door. It is a simple program, and once you've done this, you should get the gist of it. You should get the feel of programming uh, this type of uh, PLCs. This is SLC 500 Allen Bradley, um, and you follow the same kind of principles for further uh, developments and either on the same pro on the same uh, graphic on the same program or different programs different uh, machines different systems right let's get back to programming so your output for motor up is and up. motor down is output to zero one uh, like I said people program these differently so I I'm just going to start by 
if you press this go back to program uh, sorry it was already on program so you know that and then go back to <coughs> uh, PLC instructions panel which is which are these bits and use the right bit or right uh, instruction you want to use it and what I'm gonna do we're gonna put a coil there first to start with now we've got a coil here that's your Let's output. Save. This is your motor open now. You can write output columns to slash zero as your motor up and you can write the instruction by right clicking on it and say motor up that's your motor up so you know that and also <coughs> on the same wrong we say this goes up when we press the up button uh, and that is this so we need a contact here a normally open contact which will and edit symbol we can write open push button tv you do the same this is for motor up and I can just run this you can see how it works let's say you go to the panel the you go to your control panel go to programming download once it's downloaded you go to run and you can say start it opens you can see as long as you press that button it opens but doesn't hold memory latch for that. and it doesn't close at the moment because we haven't programmed it so you, you see how it works <coughs> we go back there to programming uh, programming mode and I could put this output coil as a latching contact here to hold that while it's going up so what I'm gonna do is um, go here and connect this one once that's there we can move these things around um, and put another contact there and this contact can be moved here this can be moved there so you just drag them and drop them there and this can be and paste it here right so now if you press this it'll go all the way up <clears throat> let's just examine that one open It's not on run mode. So run, open, and I'm not pressing the open button. It's latched and it goes up and it goes slam to the top. And <coughs> right? It turns the motor to stop. So you should it says in the program, in the instruction, if the door is already fully open, pressing the open switch will not energize the motor. Also, it shouldn't overshoot uh, the motor up coil or motor down coil. put that there so it shouldn't go right up uh, once it's up and um, the same the same thing applies when it goes down the same thing is true when the motor is going down so now we program another line so we drop this let's say this is done for going up go back to programming and 
drop another line now if your line is dropped up here instead of down here you can drag it down you can put it here so you just go and click on the wrong and drag it down it just moves it down that one wrong wrong down and uh, you can put more wrongs so sorry I should put me yeah, more wrongs so you program them later and I can use this because it's going to be similar to that and we've already got a latching uh, line here I'll begin with we need a uh, normally open another normally open uh, we need to move these to the right places drag this output to here drag this to here and drag this one to here and then name them so this is going to be your output to slash one this motor down so it's one two one <coughs> again we can name that motor down and this one is your closed push button I one one Let's see what happens now. What problems we'll have. Let's... It's not in the run mode again. Sorry. Uh, it closes. <coughs> As it was closing. Keeps running going further down and it burns the motor. And so it shouldn't go slamming down or overshooting the motor by opening it, overloading it and or overloading the motor by slamming it down and, fur and further pushing it down so we have a problem here for both up and down we shouldn't overshoot uh, the door or overload the motor but it does go up if you go to the run mode it does go up and it's got two problems. One problem is when I press the, when I press the open button, it goes up. But as soon as I press close button, it also works. It shouldn't. They shouldn't work at the same time. That was part of the instruction that you were given so it shouldn't work at the same time so what we have to do is we have to put this contact while you press this and and the motor is going up this motor is running this motor shouldn't run it should it should examine the wrong and it shouldn't allow it so I have to have a normally closed contact of this coil on this wrong and normally closed contact of this coil on this wrong so they are not working at the same time so we go back to programming it's a programming mode we go to instructions and we put a contact a close contact there and want it here i'll move it down there and name this output to one 
so that is not gonna happen when when this is going up even if you press this one this is not gonna allow the motor to go up further and the same thing is true for going down so we have to put an instruction here to say don't go further down while the motor is going up sorry don't go don't go down while the motor is going up so we've eliminated one of the problems we had that was uh, when it goes up sorry we've eliminated uh, one problem not the other so let's see what that is let's go to download run mode and open it's opening can I close it? No, it doesn't close. Let me press it. I went this to off. These two contacts, these two, by putting these two instructions here and these two wrongs of the program, we've eliminated the problem of pressing open and close at the same time. But we haven't eliminated jamming the motor, uh, overshooting it further down or further up. So we have to eliminate that one. How do we eliminate that? Using these limit switches. At the moment, when it's fully closed, you can see when it's green, it's normally open. Normally open uh, means if it's not pressed, which at the moment it is, if it's not pressed and uh, the garage door is not down, it's open. The contacts are open. The same here, that's normally open. But this one operates a little bit different to this because of the positions, the physical positions they have. Uh, with this, it's almost always closed, uh, although it's normally closed contact, but as the program is running, apart from when the when the shutter is completely open, that little time that goes from the top of this shutter to touch this limit switch, only that moment, that period of time, this is no this is open. This, the contacts are actually open. But when it gets down a little bit, it's closed. But with this one, it's almost al always open. Only when it's completely down, it's closed. So we have to bear that in mind when we're programming it. So what we're going to do, we have to put I0, one, one three, input 1.3, this limit switch, in this wrong. So when this one is pressed, although this is not showing because we're not in the run mode. Uh, this is pressed, then uh, only then it allows it to go up. When it's in the con contact of the I13, and so, so it will close and the motor will go up. Once it's gone up, this limit switch will open, it can't go any further up. It'll cut the line. We have to do the same motor thing. down. But in this case, because, as, like I said, the limit switch is physical location, it's only closed when, it's, when the door is fully closed. The contacts are closed only when the door is fully closed. So we need to use I14 as a normally closed contact in this wrong, not a normally open when contact. When I go to this wrong and program it, you'll see what I mean. So you drag this here and say I want four and name that limit switch two. You see, you see now the motor down only works uh, when this is open. Uh, it's not. This is not open. 
until the, the garage door goes up. So only then, if the garage door goes a little bit up and this limit switch is released, then it can you can press the close button and close it again. But as soon as it presses it, it cuts the circuit, so the motor down coil, the motor down coil can no longer yeah. adjust. And you cannot overrun the motor down, even if you want it. Right, so if we download this now, let's see what happens. Uh, we're doing this step by step so you understand the principle of programming. Now, some of these, th this, is, this is a simulation. Uh, obviously, in a plant, you can't actually do this and keep burning the motors. You have to know what you're doing. You have to understand these things. And you can test run uh, on, the, uh, on the PLC without actually connecting to the motors, you know, without actually connecting it to the uh, system. So you, you can, there is test runs, uh, you can do that in, in real life. But here, uh, obviously, I'm trying to show you and teach you how to do these things and be careful because you can run um, and burn things or even um, kill people. It, the, the programming can be very, very dangerous. So you have to bear in mind the health and safety aspects of programming uh, while on any industry plant. Right, uh, going back to this, we go to run mode, we've already downloaded it. Let's go up, it goes up without pressing it any further, and close button doesn't work, uh, which is another problem, we have to be able to close it at any time. And it goes up, it stops, and that's what we want. And then, we can close it, and open button, and doesn't work in. And that when it gets to the button, it, it stops. And when it goes up, we haven't programmed the stop button. The stop button has to be programmed. So uh, when it goes up or down, we should be able to stop it and go a different direction, close it or open it again. And now, and the indicators are not programmed. So you can stop the video here and program the rest yourself.